Hi everyone! Welcome back to our channel Fast Cabling. Today we are diving into a topic that is essential for anyone using a PoE camera. How to extend their range effectively. And whether you're safeguarding your home or business, maximizing camera coverage is crucial. So let's explore some fantastic tips and tricks that will help you make the most out of your PoE cameras. And if you want to learn more, you can visit our solution page through the link down in the the description box below now and uncover the key to expanding your civilian coverage and control. So power over Ethernet camera are innovative solution that combines data and power transmission over a single Ethernet cable. This integration simplifies the installation by eliminating the need for a separate power source or cable. PoE camera draw power directly from the network switch or PoE injector, allowing for a streamlined setup. However, it is important to know that the PoE camera have range limitation. Ethernet Ethernet cable have maximum effective distance over which they can transmit data and power without significant signal loss. So beyond this distance, that's about 100 meters and 328 feet, signal quality might degrade and leading to reduced video quality or even loss of connection. So now I'm going to give out 7 tips to extend the range of PoE camera. Tip number 1. Use high quality Ethernet cables. When setting up your PoE camera network, the choice of Ethernet cable plays a significant role in maintaining signal integrity and maximizing distances. So opting for high quality Ethernet cable like the Cat5e, Cat6 or Cat6a can greatly enhance the performance of your PoE camera. And by investing in high quality Ethernet cable, you can reduce the risk of signal degradation, data loss, and potential connection issues, maximizing the operational range and effectiveness of your PoE cameras. Tips number two, use PoE extender or repeater. This device is designed to effectively expand the camera's operational range and play a critical role in amplifying and regenerating both power and Ethernet signal, ensuring the camera receives strong and consistent connection. And for those who might require even greater distance coverage, you can consider alternatives such as long-range PoE or fiber optic network, which is known for its exceptional signal transmission capabilities over long distance. So now let me show you a few PoE extender and how to use them. So now we're in front of the demonstration board and I'm going to showcase our PoE extenders and how to use them. And first you can see the setup with the monitor, router, and a network video recorder and they are already connected together. This is a PoE injector in order to inject both power and data to our edge device which is the Bully IP camera. And we have 100 meters Cat5e Ethernet cable and another 100 meters, so total 200 meters. And in between, we are placing this PoE extender. And as you can see, it has a special mounting tool allows you to mount it on a DIN reel. And also, it's IP67 waterproof rated. You can even bury it under the ground and support up to 100 megabit per second data transfer rate and has maximum of 60 watts power output. And now I'm going to do the connection. For easy installation, I'm taking out the neck and the gland. We can see the input port. We are plugging it to the injector and the output port to our bullet camera. Let's plug them in and mount it back on the DIN reel. And let's give it a little bit of time to display on the monitor. As you can see, it is a live video. I'm going to wave my hand, but it takes a little bit time to zoom in and out since this is a very focal lens bullet camera. So the first method is all done. Now I'm going to show you the other method of using two PoE extenders and create up to 300 meters continuous run. And as you can see, I already removed the PoE extender from between 
and move one over here and the other one by the bullet camera so let's do the connection now first we will place this PoE extender facing the input port to the bullet camera and the output port connect with the output port of the PoE injector let's connect it this is the output port outputting data and both power to our PoE extender let's take it out first plug it in here to the output port and we are going to use the input port connected with the 100 meters ethernet cable let's put it back in and next we're going to move here and use a coupler to connect those two ethernet cable together this is a simple coupler to join both ethernet cable together if you have a whole 200 meters or 300 meters ethernet cable it's fine because there will be nothing in between and next we are going to connect the ethernet cable to the input port which is A let's connect it and use another short patch cord to connect the output port with our bullet camera as you can see we can hear the sound it's getting both power and data at the same time already so let's give it a little bit of time to display on the monitor and now the video is on I'm going to wave my hands also to show you this is a live video but it would also take a little bit of time to zoom in and out and find focus and this is our method 2 of using two PoE extender and create up to 300 meters even though we have only 200 meters but it can support up to 300 meters continuous run with nothing else in between and also we have this one into our PoE extender that can support up to two devices at the same time and provide up to 30 watts of output power for each port and this one can support up to 1000 megabit per second it's also IP67 waterproof rated so you can bury the whole thing underground or use it in an outdoor environment it also comes with a special mounting tool allows you to mount it on a DIN rail tip number three power sourcing equipment PSE selection the right PSE facilitates reliable power delivery and communication especially when dealing with extended cable links two common PSE are PoE injector and PoE switch PoE injector are devices installed between the existing Ethernet switch and the camera to supply power over Ethernet and PoE switch on the other hand integrates both power and data transmission within the same device streamlining installation and when choosing a PSE devices prioritize those that can support longer cable length and higher power capability so ensure that your PoE camera can receive adequate power even at extended distance and minimizing voltage drop tip number four power budget calculation to ensure a seamless operation, start by determining the power requirement of your cameras and this involves assessing the camera's power consumption and choosing the appropriate PoE standard for sufficient power delivery and once you have your camera power requirement factors in the power consumption of other devices connected to the PoE switch or the PoE injector the total power consumption of all the devices should not exceed the power budget of your chosen PSE for example if your PoE switch has total power budget of 370 watts and each camera requires 15 watts of power that means you can connect up to 24 cameras because 15 watts times 24 is 360 and that's below your total power budget that is 370 so by mastering power budget you can ensure your PoE camera network maintaining a consistent performance tip number five use wireless bridge 
you can consider incorporating wireless bridge to overcome challenges posed by areas where physical cables are impractical for extending camera coverage. A wireless bridge establishes a wireless connection between PoE camera and the network, and effectively extending the reach of your civilian network to areas that are difficult to cable. And wireless bridge allows you to cover expensive outdoor spaces and remote building and not only simplifies the installation but also maintain the same level of connectivity and reliability as wire connections. Tip number six, cementation. In a large PoE camera installation, network cementation emerged as a valuable strategy to enhance camera connectivity and overall network performance. Network cementation involves dividing your network into distinct segments and each serving a specific purpose. And this approach offers several benefits for managing a complex civilian setup. So you can consider utilizing a manage PoE switch with VLAN capabilities. VLAN allows you to create isolated segments within the same physical network. And by dedicating segments to specific camera groups, you can optimize bandwidth allocation, isolate potential network issues, and enhance security by controlling assets. So last but not least, hit number seven, environmental consideration. It is essential to take environmental factors into account. Ensure that your cameras and the extender that you choose are suitable for the specific condition they will be exposed to. For outdoor installation, offer weather-resistant feature to withstand rain, dust, and temperature variation. And that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching us and don't forget to like and subscribe our channel Fast Cabling.